Hi friends! In today's video we will be doodling flowers and leaves, our favorite subject around here, and I'll be explaining the parts of a flower so that you can doodle even better. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Shada, and today we are going to draw some flowers. I'll be using my Pigma Micron Fine Liner, the 05 nib that is linked in the description. And we're gonna talk about the parts of the flower today. Understanding all the parts can help you get more creative with your doodles. So I often do a stem to start, and then I might do some leaves, draw some leaves. And uh, next, there is the sepal. This is the part of the flower that joins the stem and the leaves. Also note, this is not a science lesson. This is just for drawing doodling purposes. After the sepal, you have the petals of the flower, and then you might have a stamen or pistil um, in the center of the flower. Now, after those components are drawn, you might add a few little details, maybe some line shading, that sort of thing. And that's your basic flower. Let's do another one. You have your stamen. That's basically the center of the flower and you have your petals. That's an important part. I'm gonna put some more petals in behind here. And then you have uh, the little sepal, that bit that joins the stem and the petals. Again, not a science lesson. <laughs> this is just for doodle purposes. <laughs> and then you have some leaves. And when you're doodling flowers, you can um, change and play with all these components uh, to create really fun and creative and interesting doodles and drawings. And you don't have to include all of the components. You might do the sepal and the petals and skip the stamen. I'll add uh, some little leaves to this guy here. And of course you can change things up. The leaves could be really large or really small. Or you could do a flower with a stamen and petals but no sepal. So this one here, we've got petals and a stamen, no sepal. The other one, we have petals and a sepal, no stamen. Did I say that right? I hope so. Anyways, um, just a note before we go a little further, if you are a patron of the channel, you can grab my Floral Doodles coloring page after today's video. So head over to Patreon for all the bonus content. It's available for just a couple bucks a month. Okay, let's label my drawing. Getting quite scientific now. Just kidding, that's a joke. This is just for doodles. Um, we have the stem and the leaves, and then we have our sepal, and uh, then we have our petals, quite important, and in the center of the flower, uh, the stamen or the pistils. Understanding all these parts allows you to play around and get really creative and uh, draw some flowers that aren't just my creations. You can copy these ones and then you can start dreaming up new ways of um, changing all these parts up so that you can create some really interesting and different floral doodles for your own planner or sketchbook or whatever. So now that we understand the parts, let's set that aside. I'm gonna grab my bullet journal um, and I want to create a little interesting doodle page in my 2020 journal. So what I've done is I've got this really great black paper that I picked up and I cut out a piece. This is the sketch pad here. It's this really nice, uh, heavy and very dark, like very black paper. I will link that product in the description as well if you want to purchase it on Amazon. Um, and what I've done is ripped out a piece from the sketchbook, cut it so that the corners are rounded, and I think it's going to look nice, almost like the black is painted into the journal. So I'll start by gluing this page into my bullet journal, just using a glue stick. You could also use double-sided tape for this. And you don't have to use black paper, you could use any dark color here, or just doodle along with a black pen on white paper. But what I'll be using today is my Uniball white gel pen. Again, all these products are linked in the video description. I like to kind of get my um, white pen sort of warmed up, so it's good to have some scrap paper nearby. Sometimes it just doesn't flow um, when you start drawing with it, but then it kind of gets going. And I'm going to begin my doodles page with just some simple leaves. You know I love to draw those leaves. And then we'll get into some more flowers. But incorporating leaf and berry doodles I think is also a great way to um, create a page of botanical doodles or drawings. So incorporate some of those berries and leaves with your flowers and I think it looks really nice.
The white Uniball gel pen is the best gel pen that I have found. I also like the Sakura jelly rolls. They are wonderful too, but this one just has a really good flow and you can see how much ink is actually left in the pen. What I'm trying to do here is really just play around with the ideas and components of the flower. The petals could be lines, the flower could be all sepal and stamen, it could be just petals, there could be no stem, just leaves. It's really totally up to you. And again, understanding all the parts can really help you to create your own doodles and you won't just have to uh, follow along with me, although I encourage you to do so, but it's really fun to do a page like this and just be free. Think about different flowers, think about um, a daisy with those long thin petals or a rose that's a spiral, maybe lavender which is long and thin. So um, really get creative, have fun and be free. And don't worry if you mess one up, you're never going to see it or notice it on a busy page like this one. As my doodle page fills in, I'm looking for any spots where I might need one last little leaf or flower. And I've left a space in the middle. And what I wanna do here is just write my word of the year for 2020. And my word this year is growth. I think last year or the year before it might've been, time really goes fast. <laughs> uh, it was movement because everything was just moving so fast and the channel was growing. And then this year, it's really for us all about growth and the change that comes with running this business and uh, so I've just written that in there with my jelly pen and I think this page is a great thing to have in my bullet journal. I hope you enjoyed learning all the parts of the flower in this very scientific science lesson. <laughs> Don't forget to head to Patreon for your coloring page and I will see you soon with a new tutorial. Thanks for watching.